and we are entering Bill Baggs Cape Florida State Park. And Bill Baggs is known as El Farito to the locals. And Farito stands for Lighthouse. And this is not a free entrance. You do have to pay to go into Bill Baggs. And we're coming up on the toe. And we are at the Cape Florida Lighthouse, Bill Baggs Park, El Farito. This is a walkway that takes you to the lighthouse. You've got some picnic areas here. And here's Bill Baggs. So he was originally from Georgia, World War II veteran. And he became the editor of the Miami News from 1957 through 1969. We have some little benches here along the way. It's nine in the morning right now and the lighthouse actually opens at 10. So it looks like in 1996, they restored the lighthouse to the 1855 specifications. It's been worn throughout the years because of weather. You know, we've had several hurricanes here in this area as well that have pretty much battered it. Oh, wow. So this is all part of the lighthouse. Look at that. And there are names all around the floor on these bricks. We're not sure what that's about. I wonder if those are people that have contributed to restorations on the lighthouse. I found out what the bricks mean. They did a restoration campaign where they raised money, raised over a million dollars, and people got a brick with their names. And it's $150 per brick. So that was all part of the restoration of the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's the lighthouse. We're walking towards it. My honey is vlogging right in front of me. <laughs> I've never seen it from this side, babe. Yeah. And here's the house where the oh, keepers yeah, so cool. the oh. lighthouse lived. <gasps> wow. My honey, Marky Mouse, says that that is the house where the keepers of the lighthouse lived. Are we able to see that, babe, from the other yeah, side? There's the lighthouse. Oh my God. There's my honey. Oh my God. Look at that view. It is a beautiful day. There's somebody back there talking, but that's the house right there. We're gonna walk over to that side. And the door is locked. Tour starts in an hour. This fantastic view and where we are. Oh my god. Hear the breeze. Hey, I think that's Stiltsville over there. Those are all houses that are right on the water. I am pretty sure that's part of Stiltsville back there. So there are several houses literally on the water. You can only get there by boat. And yes, people do live out there.
and there is a height limit to get into the lighthouse, 42 inches. I think I'm tall enough. Forty-two inches minimum height to climb the lighthouse. The tours will begin in front of the canopy on Thursdays through Mondays, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So that's where we came in through. Here is the keeper's house. Oh my goodness. I wonder if that's part of the tour. And over here, straight ahead, we have a little friend hanging out. You see the iguana? We had tons of those in our yard when we lived here in Miami. We had the really bright green ones. This one's not bright green. Okay, let's see if I can check some of this out. I don't think I can get in. This is a quaint little tiny place. It is made of brick, which I imagine is safe, especially considering all of the hurricanes that happen here. Escaping to freedom in the Bahamas. So in the 1820s, there were enslaved Africans and black Seminoles that were seeking freedom from the slave catchers and plantation masters. And it says that they worked their way down the Cape Florida. So this is a U.S. Coast Survey Base Marker. Base number seven, south. And we are definitely at that little south point of Key Biscayne. Although it looks like there might be a little more in that direction. And you can see a little more of Stiltsville back there. The homes that are right on the water. I'm not sure I could live like that, but I think maybe a little vacation time like that would be great away from everything. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Just beautiful. There goes the iguana climbing the house. And there's a couple taking wedding pictures. They're back there. I'm not sure if you can see them. taking those pictures there. Look at this fantastic view. Ah, oh, so beautiful. That is a cistern. It's a replica of the brick cistern that was built for the lighthouse keeper's cottage in 1856. So they would use it to store rainwater because fresh water was scarce on this island. The water drained from the cottage roof gutters, through the downspouts, and into the cistern. And then buckets of water were filled from the cistern as needed for drinking, cooking, bathing, and washing. Can you imagine? The things we take for granted. And that is where it would collect and then come down into here. Villagers Incorporated Lighthouse Keepers Tropical Garden established in 1997. Lighthouse is behind me and I think it's right there where I'm pointing, I'm not sure. And Stiltsville is in front of me. Let's flip that camera over. There is Stiltsville all the way out there. But I can see about looks like seven different homes. I imagine that they use solar power to get some electricity in there. I've seen tours of some of those homes. I mean they're just phenomenal. And you've got the ocean.
being back and visiting as a tourist, it just makes me appreciate it more for some reason. We used to come to this beach all the time. This is our beach that we always came to. We never came to this side of the lighthouse and just something extra special about it when you're visiting as a tourist. It's the weirdest thing. You live here all your life and then come back after three years and it's like a big deal. It's crazy. There are several picnic tables here and we've got a lot of people taking advantage of the little shaded area. They're fishing, they're picnicking. And we have a little more of that Miami skyline over there. I missed it, but all of a sudden it got, it was really wavy all of a sudden. sure if that's a wreck in front of us oh look at the big iguana that's coming out of there i had not seen that guy look at that do you see his head but it looks like it's a boat wreckage and they've got some boating things on display but that is a big boy oh man babe did you see that iguana <laughs> oh my honey saw it before i did don't forget to check out his page as well or his channel marky mouse I gotta come in a little closer on this guy. He is big. That's a big boy. And this is our old stomping ground. This was our beach. El Farito Beach. And there's El Farito. And the green flag represents low hazard. You still have to exercise caution. But they will change out the flags depending on what's going on in the water. Hello everyone and this concludes my video for today. My Bill Bags Key Biscayne tour. I hope you enjoyed it and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment and I hope you'll be back on the next one. Thanks so much.